Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. If you caught that last episode, the short one, I uh, was showcasing the helicarrier. I uh, got access to a uh, new in-development Unity build of the game, and I was actually able to work on this. And I, as you can see, I did a lot of work. I was right about the, the air blades. I didn't need all those air blades because I built it at the top of the world, and... So yeah, this is all it needs to fly. I was able to get it, get some color to it, but I'm in the current build right now because uh, just because the other one's not final, I don't really want to be recording with it. But the problem is, it's not here. I have no idea where it is, but we can find out in a second. This is what happens with large structures. I have no idea on the part count, and I'm pretty sure it's over 10,000 parts just because this is all small block, small block, small block, small block. Even the hall is all small blocks. But one of the things I've done in the past to actually find out where stuff is, is drop down a stasis chamber and usually hop into a stasis chamber causes it to readjust itself. And I'm in creative, so I don't actually have to finish that. So where is it? And it's still here. Alright, so yeah, there's something seriously up. Aethys could be a kilometer that way, a kilometer that way, but this is something where the mesh doesn't line up with the collider properly. It's somewhere. We'll find an invisible hitbox somewhere, but sadly, uh, this is not a current build build, but in the new Unity, that definitely says a lot. I've also noticed a lot of tr like major improvements with the way the physics work too. Uh, the reason why I got the copy of that build is the developers, or I was having trouble with um, June, the ladybug. Uh, I had her over there and I forgot to plant her, so every time I load up the save, as soon as I get within 100 meters of her, the rotating plate started acting up with the suspension and it was an absolute nightmare. So I sent her the save file and they, uh, I don't know what they did, but I, the save I was actually in the cockpit and that uh, game crashed every single time, so there's nothing I could do, but they gave me a copy of that, so I went in, planted it in the Unity build, came back into this build, and she was fine, so that's good. Uh, it definitely helps with like some of the bigger projects I like to do. Uh, I do have a, a big project that actually reminds me. I plan on do, starting up a side series. I wanna, I've been wanting to build a city for a while, and I don't mean like, you know, something like this. I mean something grand scale we're talking a couple of kilometers in each direction but i know that the uh, building in this game doesn't well i wouldn't say the building doesn't allow it but the the game engine i guess can't handle extremely large structures usually with anything over 500 meters it'll it used to have a tendency of disappearing on you as you were building and i've had that happen to me before uh, it has improved greatly but uh, just gotta use that, that uh, to my advantage. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set up a city into basically blocks like this. Uh, not necessarily this size, I'll probably get them a little bit bigger, maybe 80 by 80 or something, something big enough for four buildings on each. But I'm gonna set it up the same way where I have them all connected together on the same grid, but as I start building the next block, I separate it. And then that way we can just leave it open It'd be a little bit bigger than this though and i'd probably be about to set sort of space in between each of the so-called city blocks and each city block could be about the size of the all these pads put together so uh i definitely will be taking suggestions and uh, and ideas for different buildings and things you can build in it and uh, it's going to be going on for a while until either a we get the city built or b the game crashes and I'm pretty sure the game will crash before I get done with that city. Uh, also be taking up na suggestions for names too. Um, best I can come up with is Nom Nomadopolis. And I'm sure somebody can come up with a better name. But anyways, I'm going to try to do a few st stupid things today. There's a couple of little crazy half-assed ideas I've been thinking about doing. And I want to get to them. Uh, the sun's going down. i got to get some supplies ready. So I'll bring you back when we're ready to go. Okay. Uh... One of the first things I wanted to do, actually, is I always wanted, wanted to make like a little monster truck. I don't mean like a ah, monster, monster truck, because the wheels are only so big, but believe me, I've already thought about that one. But I thought about like having like a, a small cockpit with, you know, like basically wheels that are tower over it. So 
I wonder if she want to slap a cockpit on here and put the big wheels on small suspensions and see if I can have this thing sitting low to the ground so it looks kind of odd. And uh, if it is showing up a little laggy in the video, that's because it is laggy. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's just I got so much around here. Maybe I think it's time for a new video card. I've been adjusting to the settings a lot. And I can't get any better than this. I know the the new Unity does need a little bit of optimization. What am I doing here? What color should we make this? Let's go blue. So we'll do that. And as far as the wheels, I do need some space. So we'll go out like this. And actually, let's come off the center. Uh, I want to throw some batteries on here too. Uh, let's see, batteries. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Uh, where are they? I have no idea. I never use these things. There they are. Okay, we'll put one here. And we'll actually need two of them. Surprisingly, these big wheels, they don't use a lot of power. And two there. Get some blocks. Go up and... I think I actually need a little more room on that. Let's do it this way. That should work. Oops. It'll work with one block. I don't know. Well, it'll probably work with two, but whatever. Not like I need the resources. So we'll put one there. And one there. I guess I should actually put these on the hotbar underneath them again. Uh, do take that one and this one. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking I can actually, can actually bring that in. So let's do that. We'll put the suspension there. It's not going to touch the cockpit, is it? We're gonna find out. Be a fun ride if it does. That should be okay. I would almost want to make a drag racer, but these things don't go fast enough. But mind you, these things are meant to be moving a lot of weight. So if we set these things to speed. Yeah, we can get some speed out of them. Oh yeah, this is looking good. All right, got some more blocks on the front end here. Probably could bring it in a little bit. Uh, this will be fine. This will be fine. And suspension. One there. One there. Get the wheels on. If we set this thing to torque, we could probably climb up a wall with it. Okay, good. If you ever have trouble uh, putting wheels on, uh, like that your wheels don't work, that's actually not snap properly, is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, when you put it on, the suspension should bounce a little bit. See how it bounces like that? That lets you know it's free. If it doesn't move like that, then it's letting you know it's going to touch something, and you'll probably end up in space if you leave it the way it is. All right little me machine here and that should be it now we put a switchboard on here oh, we gotta finish up the batteries too yeah, it's a stupid little thing to build just because it's been a while since I've done stupid something stupid uh, don't worry there's plenty of time for that and down here Okay, let's get build vision up. The old lagginess in my world. Alright. I'm actually wondering what would happen if this thing would flip over, if it would actually still drive. Uh, oh, we gotta switch the other side. Okay, switch that. Switch that. Uh, we'll have... What steering is this? in the front, okay. 
I'll switch this to the back. This to the back. This one to be the front. And that way we should be able to spin and roll this thing like there's no tomorrow. All right, now we just have to power it up and we're good to go. So I can get to that switchboard. Okay. Oh my God, this build vision is so laggy. I was thinking about keeping the train, but I think we might have to actually disable it, like dismantle it all the way, all together. Because I have a feeling those air blades are causing me this, uh, this serious lag. Alright, let's... Bouncy. Oh, let's uh, get a little closer here. Yeah, could be st could be faster. Uh, theoretically, this thing should be should be able to drive over just about anything. Maybe not. Doesn't have enough clearance. Now it's stuck. It's caught on something. Hang on. Let me tighten up the suspension. All right. There's actually a rock stuck in the way. Now that I think about it, probably could have brought this up a little bit. Definitely needs more speed, and yes, they are set to speed. Not exactly a mountain climber. Right, let's actually t set this to, to torque and see what happens. Okay, all set. Oh yeah, okay. That's actually set to, to torque. Oh yeah, more power. Now we got a monster truck. Let's actually see if we can make it up that ramp. If I can make it in there. Nice view. Yeah, definitely not doing it from first person. Let's get a little closer in here so I can actually see what I'm running over. I like that, does wheelies. Oh yeah, she's got some power. Yeah, it's not fitting in there. That's it's a little too big for that. So we'll take it for a spin down here. Like if these things are set to pow set to power, I should be just cruising right now. Same did it go faster when I turn? Alright, there's stupid test number one, which is actually quite well. I, this is actually pretty big. If you look at the size of those balls there. Okay. So the next thing I wanna do, we're gonna have to skip the day here, but uh, the next thing. It's sort of a variation of an elevator uh, using the same similar mechanic as that robotic robotic arm that I did. Oh, geez. That was oh, in the old survival world. That was like episode 70 or something. That was a long time ago. Uh, this is actually going to be using four sets of them. And basically it's going to be using hover pads, rotating plates, and ceiling tiles to push against each other so we need that we need this by the way this sliding that you see here is no longer in the new unity that's one of the big things that's going to be big change in it yes that uh, people have had issues with uh, their vehicles actually sliding right off platforms because of that i had the problem with the train the train was sliding too and apparently that's something that's going to be fixed uh, i guess it's got something to do with uh, better calculation better calculations because what I've noticed is when you're right in the center of the mass you don't move but the further away you are from the center the more you move you can actually see I'm slowly starting to move here and same here but if I go in the middle I don't move but if I go on this side 
then I moved the other way, which is, which is weird, but anyways, uh, so this is going to be four, it's going to be zigzag linkages, similar to, well, nothing like I built here, actually, but it's going to be just a line going across, up, over, and just zigzagging, there's going to be a platform at the top, I'm not going to go too high with this thing, because it's going to crash my game no matter what I do, and then I have a platform up there, and I have four more that can be planted into the ground, so I can make sure that everything's locked in place without me having to try to build this large structure to enclose it, like I have done over here and over there, and and anywhere else I've used it, like like that, for instance. So let me get something set up, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I am back, and apparently I seem to have forgotten what my record button is because I recorded the last half of this episode and actually didn't record anything. So anyways, this is sort of what I got, basically, it's a bunch of linkages of hover pads are pushing off each other, and yeah, I do have switchboards set up, I have one switchboard set up for the main, which will turn all four, four of the quote-unquote legs on, and then I have one for each individual one, these are just actually in order that you see them, this one is for that one there, this one is for that one there, this one is for that one over there, or sorry, this one is for that one over there, this one is for that one over there. Uh, and I do have, have everything unlocked, uh, even though I did it already, I didn't really notice anything different. Uh, I'm actually st still in the current, the current build, and I'm going to actually load this up in the new Unity, and also point out a bug I happen to find. So let's go ahead and take that out, so it drops down, we'll get this out of the way. Run over here, very slowly, and turn it on and see what happens. And so it wants to move. It almost looks like a like a bullfrog wants to jump. And just, I've sort of had an idea of. Come on, let's uh, look away at that one there. Uh, it's a uh, sort of one of the ideas I've actually wanted to build with some sort of like grasshopper or uh, kangaroo or something. I think a grasshopper would be perfect with like the little bug collection I got going on. I built a centipede. I built built a spider. I built the ladybug over there something that we could jump a couple hundred meters in the air would be great but th these don't have enough power for it I don't think but as you can see I got individual ones turned on which isn't doing a whole lot but other than that that was just a stupid little idea I wanted to try and it's gonna flop over uh oh uh oh down she comes that's how you pack up the building so I'm going to leave this guys for you to pack up, I'm going to go do a few things and leave you be. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so now let's go just because I know it's not going to do anything, and plus because there's a bug I want to show. Uh, I'm going to load this up in the other, other build here and see what happens. And here we are. Uh, it's kind of hard to say, I do sometimes see performance improvements. I don't haven't been in this one very much, but anyways, just turn it on and see what happens. Uh, again, like it happened last time I tried recording this part. Helps if we unplant it. Be free, my pet. Take over the world. Definitely gotta build something that'll crash the game one of these days. It's been a while since I've done something intentionally like that. As you can see, it seems to be seems to be responding a little bit better like this is, is this isn't one of the things that you really notice with uh, that I've noticed with the new build with it, what I've noticed is like when you're returning to things even something as simple as the ladybug if I didn't have a planted come back over uh, even the trebuchet did this and I think it's got something to do with these large suspensions but you, you come into physics range and it goes and corrects itself but there's a uh, I'm going to assume there's a floating remainder that the computer doesn't know what to do with, and it starts setting things out of whack. But, yeah, so that was that. That was just something I wanted to try. Uh, sadly, it doesn't work because hover pads don't have enough power. Uh, there's still talk of large hover pads. He, 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 the BC special, if you ask me. But, uh, another little thing I wanted to try to do, too, is like some sort of... You know, like a water slide idea. Uh, I'm warning you now, this is going to kill me, believe it or not. I, I think it's because this is actually still version 9.0.3. .9 but 
I like the fact that when you're on a one, one, one block gap that you slide. <gasps> oh, it didn't kill me this time. Oh, wow. See, it didn't slide along and then if this was a little bit shorter, I would have dropped right into here and then I would have continued on this way. So we could probably get some sort of big thing going up and we could just ride all the way down. Uh, sadly, the elevator like that doesn't work, but maybe we can work something out. Maybe like the old Minecraft piston trick to find, find something to push, push us up. Why are you stuck? I'm still stuck in there. But yeah, anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I also forgot to mention too, because I forgot to mention the last time too, and I didn't mention it, but uh, the city idea is actually going to be in a creative world, so it's not going to be a lot of tedious resource gathering and stuff like that, because I do plan on doing a lot of building. You know, probably do like one block a week or something, just do like weekly episodes on it, and this will be side series from the main let's play here uh, and don't forget I'm also going to be open for many many ideas for building suggestion uh, for suggestions I should say for buildings and definitely a name idea we could always all get some sort of sculpture in the middle of the city that's always something I'd be interested to do but anyways uh, thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and I'll see you in the next one later